Greetings people, this is Keith Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are. This... Let's turn this off. Um, here is the circuitry that I came up with uh, in between episodes. Um, it has been a little while since I recorded an episode, but I just reviewed... I reviewed the last episode that I recorded. And, uh, to remind myself of everything. Um, all right, so what we have now? Remember, this is this is um, this circuitry is when it's all when everything's working. If it's working correctly, what it's supposed to do is is send pulses to this uh, tiny little boring machine, which is almost done now. Finally, it's been so many episodes to get this thing uh, built and working. But anyway, so it's going to send pulses to that machine. It, with each pulse, it will move forward, and also. In addition to sending out the pulses, it's also going to count the number of pulses. And when the count reaches the uh, total, then it will send us a resonance signal back to the timer here, which will turn the timer off so that the pulses will stop being sent. Also, we have <clears throat> this right here, which is just going to uh, send a resonance signal to these um, autonomous activators so they, they send out, uh, so, they, um, so they'll place uh, stone bricks or whatever, but it's gonna be stone bricks um, to line the tunnel. <coughs> okay, <coughs> so, so here's a timer, it's set to three seconds. We got a repeater, which just makes the pulse a little bit longer. And then, uh, and, I, and so the output signal, the, the pulse goes to this wireless transmitter, which is set to channel 100. And then, and also it goes to the counter, which right now is just set to 10. And, um, oh, I guess, well, that's to send it back. That's right. Um, uh, after, after it, the count gets up to 10 when we have to reset it. Uh, so that's why that lever's there. Um, I probably should change that for a button. That would make more sense. Do I have a button? Do I have a button? I will in a moment. <coughs> Okay, let's break. And of course, I broke a lot. Let's turn my magnet on. There, I put that there, and I like, I like it to look nice. Okay, but good. Okay, so let's let's just uh, show how this is working. Let's see, it is it's at zero. Okay, so I turned on the timer. So you said sends out a pulse. And this is going up. So right now it's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now one more. 10. Now the timer has been disabled by the rest of the signal. Voila! And it's always dark. Okay, so now let's reset it. Um, first of all, we'll turn that off. And push each push the button. We'll decrement that. And actually, I should put this to plus 10. I didn't do what I wanted. Oh, I did the wrong one. I meant to do this one. All right. There. Now it's all the way back to zero. All right. Now it's dark. Let's go sleep. Um, and I went the wrong way. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm thinking that by the end of this episode, we should have the thing running as, as long as the testing works. And uh, if not, I'm going to do a cut and do whatever else needs to be, whoops, needs to be fixed. And to get this thing going. Okay, so so this circuit is done. I think that does what it needs to do. I'll have to change this maximum to some other number, much higher, um, but that's working. Um, so what we need to do is go to the other chest and grab 
the wireless receivers. And I will also need this. And I'm gonna need these. Okay. So first thing, we gotta take out this and this. All right, so instead of that, we just have one transmitter, which needs to be moved. I suppose probably it's in here. I need, whoops, I need my screwdriver. Maybe it's not in there. Maybe it's over here. Yes. I guess I might as well grab that. I never did figure out how the thing works. I gotta play with that around, around with that some more. Okay. So first we turn this. Oh, I have to. Have to do that. Okay. There we go. Now we wanted to uh, run tunnel bore. There we go. That's what this is gonna be. One hundred. All right, so that should work. Well, I guess we'll test that. We will set the timer to the counter to two. Yeah. Okay. Turn it on. There, it moved. Two. two that's two. It only went two. Oh, I set it to two. Okay, good. Ha. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, oh, I gotta turn this thing off. Okay, there we go. Okay, this works. Good. So th I guess three seconds is long enough for it to, to be in place. Okay, so that's that's fine. Now, this is a little more tricky. Um, we gotta send, a, we gotta put this other transmitter down and send, it's gotta send, it's gotta be sending us a rest of the signal to these Autonomous activators, and uh, in order for it to, oops, that's not what I meant. In order for it to hook up, we gotta use that. And then, um, I did, I tested this a little bit in between episodes. So we want, ah, that's not what I meant. That is not, I, sh I was not supposed to hit um, that way. Okay, so we need this to go back. And, and we need, where's the other one? This one. We need all of these things. Jeez. See, I'm gonna run out of time. All this foolishness. Okay, so let's try this again. I want to um, shift left click, not right click. Okay, so um, this needs to be insert. And it should just be green, yeah. And then this, you know what, what I wanna do is tell it, ah, I've gotta force it. I've got to, f maybe I have to do this. This is not actually, this is kind of annoying. What did I just do? That's not where I want it. There we go. Oh, I, I disconnected that, which is not what I, oh, dang it. <sighs> I have to redo this whole thing. I have to practice this. Ugh. Okay. You go there. There. And I guess while those other things are off, I'll see if I can get. I need to get. Here. No. 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 What did that do? I guess I have to break this so I can get down low enough. That's too high. Too low, I mean. Okay. I want to get is right there. There. Okay. Ugh. Hopefully that's enough. Okay. test that. Well, let's not test that. Let's think. Can I just do this? Mm, I might need 
need to do. I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Hopefully this is gonna work. That was a lot. Okay. So when I turn this on, if it's everything's working, it's to, the, all the autonomous activate should up uh, start or start opening. Yes. Good. Yay. Okay. Now, one more thing before we actually get this thing going is... Oh, um, this will work. We gotta... Oh, well, we, we need to put down more more um, frame blocks. Okay. And they're not there. Over here. Let's put this away. Let's set that. And these. These. Ah, oh, I mean, I might need more of these. Or, you know, I might need... I might need these, too. Okay. So, we'll put one there, there. I'm just going to enclose this whole thing. Oops. Oh, shoot. Probably won't hurt anything. I'll find out. After I do this, I'll move it a little to see how it does. I am going to need more of these things. Oh, wrong way. It's not the right side. Where is this going to go? Right. Why does it have to be that way? Well, I guess it doesn't need it, because I can't put it. We'll just hope that's the case. Well, I know it doesn't need it. Need it. Doesn't need it, need it. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. I thought that, I thought that would be enough.
that's going to go on the outside, so I don't want to bother with that. Okay, so the, all these need to be closed. The ones on the outside. I want that one to um, um, That should be closable. Why isn't that closing? I don't understand that. It has to have it for the torch? No. Okay. Well, that's not good. The torch is actually connected there, so that should be okay. I don't like having that open, but if I can't close that, it'll stick. That one doesn't want to... Uh-oh, this is in the wrong spot. So I can't close them if they're... Ugh. This might be a problem. I might have to like, mm, no, that won't work. I hope I don't have to rearrange everything. I feel like I'm almost there. And that one will close, and that one will close. Let's see if it'll move. This is still set to two, isn't it? Well, that's good. Okay. Excuse me. And I guess this is gonna still go back, right? Yeah. Alright, so, the problem, I'm guessing, I guess we can test this, is if that is unclosable, I'm afraid, that this is going to stick. Oh, come on. Yeah. And that's just what we don't want to have happen. Which means that, that we can't have that there. Hopefully they aren't necessary. I will have to check that, though. That one wasn't necessary, and that's good. Nothing there. Is that all of it? Oh, oh, wait, is that? I can't do that one either. Okay. Let's see if this thing still moves. Yes, oh, thank goodness. So those weren't really needed. 
Okay, so that means this thing is basically ready to go. As long as I didn't miss any any that need to be closed. I want this thing to be one lower though. This is in line, yes. Yes. Okay, so we need to lower I just picked something up. We need to lower this thing down. And we're gonna do that very simply. I hope this is turns out to be simple. We're gonna No. No. There. That we need it point how do we do this? I wanted to slide the other way. Go here? No. I can't remember how to do this. Oh, so maybe it's left. No. There we go. Okay. There. Oh, that's what I want. Down. And I had a strange sound there. What was that sound for? Something break? I never tested having it go down before. Let's see if it still moves forward. No. Something broke. Great. Great. Um, well, first off, let's move these things. Maybe it's something about this. I don't think so. Um, I heard a sound, and now everything is enclosed, so I can't even see. Wonderful. What could it have been? I guess I should have tested things going. Oh, you know what? I need to. Well, this probably wouldn't. Nothing should ever be back here, but. Wait, why weren't these closed? I guess I missed them. I bet I'm gonna run out of time and this thing's not working. I'll have to troubleshoot this in between episodes. Or. When my timer goes off, I am going to. Stop. And I will troubleshoot and get this thing working and then come back. Let's see if this thing is still not working. I guess the first thing to do would be... Now I'm afraid of which ones to break. Those are still set. Yes. You know what, I need a, I need a wireless transmitter. That would be a good thing to have. So I could push the button. <clears throat> I could push the button uh, wherever I'm at and be watching Strategi strategically. Since we're in here, we'll go ahead and sleep. I'm just waiting for the timer. I'm sure the timer's going to off any second now. Aha, there you go. Um, what I want is not called wireless. It's called remote. It's a remote. That's what it is, probably. Is this it? No. That's it. So I need... Whoops. I need another one of these. Let's try this out, and then I'm going to do a cut, and, and hopefully, ugh, I the wrong one. Get this thing to work. So that this way, I can go. This is going to be one uh, one hundred. Yeah. So right click on this thing. No, shift right click, and set it to tunnel bore. Run tunnel bore. Okay, so, so now it's set to one hundred. And I think if you look, if I were able to look. Uh, I guess not. I thought you'd be able to see the channel. Okay, so I push the button. I right click with this in my hand. It sends out a signal. <coughs> and that's not doing anything. So. So that's messed up. So something is definitely wrong. Okay, so I'm going to do a cut. And hopefully. 
uh, I will, when I come back, everything, I will have things working and I will figure out what the problem is. Okay, so I'll be back in a moment. All right, people, I've returned. I think I fixed the problem. It was pretty simple. I, I ended up, after looking around, I just dug, I dug up underneath. I thought maybe I missed something on the underside, right? Because when I lowered this thing down one, it, uh, I thought I heard some kind of sound. I don't know if there really was a sound. Maybe I, maybe it was not uh, related to the problem. But anyway, I thought, well, you know, if there was, if, one, if I miss one of, uh, you know, closing the sides of one of the blocks on the underside, um, then of course this thing would be sticking to the ground and that would be why it wouldn't move. So I went underneath and indeed I did find that this very last row, the ones behind, we have this row of um, autonomous activators on the bottom, right? Then there's one row uh, of, uh, of these things on the bottom and they were still open, uh, these frames on the bottom. The, the, they were still open on the underside, right? So I closed them off and, uh, and now it works. I pushed the whole thing back. So now, what I want to do is set this sync with the uh, timer, or excuse me, I want to set the counter to 10. And we're going to run it and see how it does. I did do one thing. I, I put in some blocks here, right? So these are all going to get broken. But up above there is some sand. I placed a bunch of sand, well, not a whole bunch, like three high, up above all those blocks. So there's a big block of sand right there. And I just want to see what happens if, if this thing ends up eating it all, or if um, you know what I didn't do. I don't think. I don't think I set the export. So this thing is going to get full. I wonder if I can access that. I just thought of that. I never set the export uh, to export. Well, I will do that. Um, I guess I might as well just do it now. There has to be. We have to export. Where is it at? I think it might be. Right here. It's in the other one. Oh, this, this episode's gonna go long now. Uh, there, export bus. And we might need one of these. Okay, so uh, we want to export right there. And there. And can I, I can't, I can only access from the top. That's kind of crummy. I wish that were not the case. Okay, so is this exporting already? No. You know what? I might not have anything on the other side yet. Let's see here. I really want to get this thing working. Of course, I don't need to be exporting to see if it's, that it's working, but. So this is the test rack where it's going in. Yeah, I need to export. I need to pull out, so I need another export bus. Do I have? I think I have channels available here. Yeah, I do. I think it's an export I want. Come here. Oh, come on. So this is a formation core. Oh, and it's gotta do stuff. And that's just gonna sit there. There's some kind of problem with there and I don't know what it is. I need to look into what's going on there. Then I'll put this in here and this should be done now. Yeah, it made, it made two. It makes two. <clears throat> I think I needed a, a piston, didn't I? Make some pistons for me. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, you know what? I need an import bus, not an export bus. Oh, my God. Oh, I have one already. Cool. Oh, well, I did some extra work for nothing. Okay. Uh, give me mm -hmm. there. There. All right. Let's go find out if that is. 
You know, I don't know if you can do this through a Tesseract or not. If that's not true, then I have to do something else. But, let's find out. Actually, it should have already pulled them out if they were going to. No. Okay, so I guess you cannot export through a Tesseract. Like that. Well, I will figure that out later. Um, for now, let's go ahead and just, I'm just going to send this thing on its way and see what it does. Oh, goodness. It takes a moment. I'm like, oh, it's not working. I'm going to break in here. So we can see what it does. Okay, now it should break. And the sand falls. Oh, and it, and it, and it, and it ate it all. Good. It does it pretty quickly. Oh, was that already, already, was that 10 already? That doesn't seem like it would be 10. So, that stuff's all in there. I guess that was 10. Wow. All right, well, I guess it's working. <laughs> um, I gotta fix the export problem though, and I can still get to it. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to export to it. I'm gonna have to export into a into a chest and then go from the chest to the tesseract. Is there anything right here? I guess I can go in here. Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Uh, in between episodes, I will get the exporting thing working so this thing doesn't, you know, totally fill up. Of course, there's a lot of room into it, but a lot of room in there, but we have to go from from here, from here to here, and that's something like 3,000 blocks. That's a lot. Um... Uh, so this thing could very well fill up. Okay, so but okay, so we gotta wrap it. So I, it's almost completely working. I, th I will do that l one little bit, exporting into the system in between episodes, and I will, I will do a little more testing, and then in the next episode, I will show this thing working. I mean, it's gotta, it's gotta be working by then, right? Okay, so this has been Keith Modesto playing Modern Minecraft. There you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.